Well, we got another one. Um, this is a 1976 John Deere liquefier, uh, 440, as you can see. Um, we picked this up fairly cheap. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, already taken the gas tank off for cleaning. Uh, seat came off too. But uh, we got a whole bunch of goodies that came with it. This sled was sold as a no-spark, non-running sled. I've already pulled it over. It's got great compression. Uh, the previous owner did have it running for a little bit. And we'll kind of dig into why it isn't running. So, previous owner states he had it sitting for 10 years and decided one day I want to get it going. And he... Ascent, well, he lost the key for it. So this is the old key cylinder. Um, to get around that, he took and, I don't know if you can see these wires right here, they lead to where the key should be. Um, he just unplugged those and electrical taped them, not together, but just together. So that way they uh, wouldn't, uh, you know, dangle and touch anything. And he got it to run off of a small tank and he said it ran good for like a minute and then shut off and so decided to sell it didn't want to screw around with it so it wasn't actually until i was looking at buying the snowmobile that uh he took and was showing me that he just unplugged these and he kind of realized that you know these two wires here were touching each other and that possibly could have been grounding out the sparks so he decided to still sell it to me um, I took the old key switch out and replaced it with one that I just had sitting on the shelf. It's off of another deer sled. So uh, since I've replaced that key switch, I've gotten spark on both the spark plugs. So we might just put the gas tank back on and fire it up to see what happens. I decided I'm going to drain the uh, radiator fluid out of the engine and change that first since it's a little more convenient. Uh, Having the gas tank out, I can get at these hoses a little easier. And there it goes. Now you just gotta sit here and wait. All right, here it goes. Uh, you can see I put the gas tank in. Put a little gas in it. We are gonna have to prime it up a little bit though. So I refilled the uh, the radiator, uh, just drained it, replaced the fluid. Gas is in it. Uh, let's give it a try. Well, now it's just got to prime up. I can see it's already sucking fuel, so. Let's try it again. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe I won't have to reprime it. I can see the uh, carbs are full now.
yet, but uh, it's probably just because it's so cold. <laughs> So I just ended up having to turn the idle screws up half a turn and now it it's idling great, just around 2,000 RPM. So we're going to take it for its first test ride. Um, I haven't started it yet today, it's dead cold. Uh, obviously there's a lot more stuff we have to do with it, like crank seals and I'm going to put a new track on it, different bearings and stuff. Going on a test drive won't hurt, so... Well, one thing's for sure, it definitely needs a new set of carbides because I can't turn for shit. But uh, overall, not too bad. Ooh. 